the most powerful tools that salespeople have in their tool belt isn't what you say, it's the absence of what you say, or silence. As it's also known. Why is silence so important in the sales process? Well, it depends when we're using it and what part of the sales process we use it. Let's look at some great places to use silence. First things first, in the questioning stage. The reason it's so important is that little gap in silence is usually seized by the other party. Now, as a salesperson, the more silences you leave during the questioning stage, the more chances there are of the client or the prospect grabbing that silence and giving you extra information, which is really powerful because we can sell against that information. A lot of salespeople go wrong because they're afraid of that silence. In fact, we often label it the awkward silence. Well, it's not actually that awkward. It's very, very useful. Another place where it's incredibly powerful is in the negotiation stage or once we've delivered price. You're always taught in sales that when you deliver a price, you should remain silent. Well, why is that? Well, there's actually a multitude of reasons. Number one is that you're often getting the client to do a mathematical equation. And if you don't give them that time to think about that equation, they're never gonna do the maths to make a decision. Number two is that you're wanting to see how they react to the information that you're giving them. So that silence gives you an opportunity to see if they're going to speak and what they're going to say. Now the last one for me is the most fascinating one and that is this. The people that you typically sell to are usually commercial and if they're commercial they're more than likely going to be put on some sort of negotiation course and we all know the first thing you learn in a negotiation course is always remain silent. So why is that so important? Well if the other party is giving silence that tells you a couple of things. Number one, it tells you that they're interested in what it is that you have to sell. And number two, it tells you that they're inadvertently entering a negotiation. And it's absolutely critical that we leave that silence because they're effectively playing our game. If they weren't interested or they thought it was too expensive, they tell you that quite quickly. If they're interested and they want to get some money off and they want to enter a negotiation, then that's where the training kicks in. Ah, oh, I'll remain silent because if I speak first, that means that I lose the negotiation. The conversation intelligence tool Gong recommends giving three seconds of silence after you ask a question. Now, that may seem like a long time, but in actuality, it's not that long. And bear in mind Gong are dealing with hundreds of millions of data sets every single day. So try that in your next discovery call. When you ask a question, the customer stops speaking, leave three seconds, and more often than not, you'll realize that the customer will grasp that silence. Another really powerful place to use silence is when presenting. Um, as you can imagine, being a sales trainer and being a public speaker, I've had to do quite a lot of speaking to larger audiences. Now, when I first did this, I found it incredibly nerve-wracking, and getting the attention of the whole group was really, really difficult. So I read about and employed a technique that has served me very, very well when it comes to public speaking, and that is to be silent for the first minute. Seems crazy, right? But you stand up on stage, first 25 seconds people are a bit like oh god this guy's forgotten his uh, his lines this is really awkward and embarrassing then about 40 45 seconds goes by and people start feeling a little bit of discomfort and they're looking at the stage as you're just standing there with your hands clenched then after about 50 seconds the people at the back of the room start looking up going, I wonder what's going on here then after a minute you can hear a pin drop absolute silence throughout the whole auditorium and everyone is paying attention to you then it's as simple as going, right, let's get started, and then jumping into your presentation or your talk. So the next time that you have to do a presentation or you have to do a talk in front of a large group of people, use that minute silence in your favor. Get the audience to stop exactly what they're doing, playing Angry Birds at the back of the room on their phone, having a conversation, looking for the mints on the table, whatever it is, you'll notice after a minute, all their eyes are on you. Well, I hope this video has been useful. And remember, silence truly is golden. And it was the famous Greek playwright Euripides that says, silence is wisdom's best reply. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share and like, and as always, happy selling.